Hello, good morning. Maayong buntag. We are here at my allotment garden. It's a little bit windy, a bit cloudy. The sun's coming in and out. It's very uncertainty uh, this Sunday morning. But we need to do what we need to do, which is we're going to transplant our early lettuce of the year 2023. Because they're getting leggy at the moment, so we need to transplant them into a much bigger container like this. And hopefully my my brothel's sprouts will survive i wonder if they will survive i grew this at home in the windowsill they're looking very sad i wonder if i'm going to transplant them into a bigger container and bury them deeper they might survive what do you think we'll see anyway There's always a possibility that they might, they might not. It's always trial and error. Let's see, I'll show you. Uh, wearing gloves is a bit of a nuisance. Try it. Hopefully they'll survive. This little plant will survive. Teeny weeny. Let's hope you will survive. Just bury them deeper like this. This is a uh, broccoli. So I bury them. And then press it down. Add more soil. So the only thing that's appearing is just the head. So I bury most of the stem as much as I can. Hopefully they will survive. Something. I forgot something. Can you imagine? I forgot my mic. You might not be able to hear. Me. I forgot my mic a minute ago. So I was saying I buried most of the stem of the broccoli. We're going to transplant six of these. Always hold the, the leaves when you're doing transplant because they're very delicate at this moment. Very delicate. Tiny weeny, very tiny. That's it. My six broccoli seedling transplanted. So I'll put them there. And now we're going for the spinach. Look at that, but the see the roots is very long, so that's healthy. That's very healthy. All it needs now is a nice sunshine and they're all come popping out. Very easy. 
bit. Just press it a little bit. Just press a little bit. Like that. Just use your two finger to press your seed, tiny seeds. Like that. Just latches. Six latches. One more container. I prefer to work with my hand when you're dealing with tiny seedling. So you can see what you're doing actually. I was thinking of going to dig some clay later. Let's see. That's done. That's another one. My coriander hasn't come yet. Coriander is a bit slow. Put the other side. plant this as well, Lolo Rosso lettuce. This is very, very nice lettuce. A slug doesn't like to eat this variety. With the, you know, the, with the red around the edges, and the slug hate it. <laughs> Which is good. It's a bonus for me. More lettuce for me. That's why I like to plant a lot of this this lug refused to eat it. We are just going to do it in this small right here. Very tiny thing. tiny seeds you're gonna harvest loads of it loads of uh, lettuce Put it all this seedling there they're very pricey all this tiny seedlings and just sprinkle some light soil on top Just tap a little bit lightly. Just, just tap lightly like this. Uh -huh. We're gonna water this. Just spray some water later. I'll put them here. Okay. Together. Mix salad. This is a uh, spicy leaves. Salad leaves. It's a mixture of uh, misuna, mustard, and some red red radish leaves. But you can harvest them well. They're when they are still babies. They're very very nice in salads. One of my favorite ones. I think I'm gonna broadcast this one over there. Yeah, I'm gonna broadcast this one. Over. Let's move position. <gasps> I have here, you see this one, tiny seedlings here. These are radishes. This is a French radish. French radish. I'm going to try to broadcast this one inside inside my chicken shed. I'm in the chicken shed. This is an old chicken shed, but there's no more chicken here. I'm going to add some compost. of 
siblings. Oh, the slug loves to eat this. Cover them like this. Press slightly. Like this. <coughs> One more here. Come summertime, I'll be putting a few tomato plants inside here, yeah. like I did last year. My way of gardening is a little bit messy. <laughs> have our own way of doing gardening. This is my way of gardening. The lazy way of gardening. I call it the lazy way. Does it really matter? No, it doesn't. Because at the end of the day, they will all grow and you'll be able to harvest some and you're able to eat some. Some for you and some for the slugs. That's life in the garden. You have to save some for yourself and some for the slugs. Huh, that's done. Calendula in this one. You have to prepare the bed. Get rid of all this rubbish. A lot of people coming in today. They must be all fixing their sheds and so on. Back in here, and then we can just remove the when we're ready to plant. The weed is just prolific in this one. Once you prepare your, you dug your soil and everything, covered again. You get, you can get vine weeds coming up here. You're gonna pour up more. There's a lot of uh, latches in this one. Many. I think my onion seedlings is coming out here now. They're popping out now. 
squeeze. You can't see it yet. There's a lot of onion in here. So we're ready to go home. It's a bit cloudy now. We come back again probably next trip. For now, bye bye. See you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.